In this experiment, a polystyrene cup will be held under oil with a temperature of 120 degrees Celsius. The result will be explained afterwards. Polystyrene is a well-known polymer that's widely used by the industry. It has the following structure. And in this experiment, we'll be using a polystyrene cup. Yeah. It looks like the oil has reached its temperature, so let the experiment begin. Look closely. The cup has turned into a hard plastic disc. How is that possible? To explain this, we'll be using the following curve. A polymer has three states. The glass state, the rubber state and the liquid phase. In the glass state, the material is stiff and not elastic. The chains don't possess enough thermic energy to be able to move. Deformation can happen between atoms or atom groups. For instance, a side group that takes a different position. In a rubber state, parts of the polymer chain can move opposite each other because their thermic energy is enough efficient to overcome the attractions between bonds. But the chains are still entangled, what means that they can't move relative to each other. The chains favor a form in which they can form as many conformations as possible. The stiffness of Young's modul modulus, E, is, is 1000 to 10,000 times lower than in the glass state. To go from the glass to the rubber state, the glass transition temperature, the Tg, has to be passed. This is the temperature where the polymer goes from the glass to the rubber state. It depends on the chain stiffness and the traction between bonds. The Tg of polystyrene is about 100 degrees Celsius. A normal polystyrene cup is in a glass state. And chains are like this. But when heated in oil of 120 degrees, it overcomes its Tg and turns into the rubber state. The chains are now entangled. That's the reason why the cup collapses. Once out of the oil, the cup cools down and passes the Gg again and lands back into the glass state and creates this form. It becomes a hard material again. This form of processing, called thermoforming, was used to make the original PS cup. Thermoforming consists of three steps, heating, forming and trimming. In this case, sheets of polystyrene are delivered and heated above 100 degrees Celsius with infrared at amateurs or an oven to bring the polystyrene in the rubber state. The plate is clamped into place and formed, in this case the cup. The mold is cooled so when the materials are formed it's brought back to the glass state and becomes a hard material again. In the last step the forms are trimmed.